It began with a whisper. What if we could unleash the power of a star? In 1942, deep beneath the bleachers of the University of Chicago, scientists performed an experiment that changed the world forever. They called it the Manhattan Project, but insiders had another name for it. The experiment that could end all experiments. It was meant to end a war. Instead, it created a weapon capable of ending the world. At its core was a question no one could fully answer. Could humanity control what it had unlocked? Thousands of the world's brightest minds were scattered across secret cities. Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, Hanford. Behind every fence, every coded memo was one purpose. To split the atom before the enemy did. But with that came a fear. That the chain reaction might not stop. For a moment, some believed the Trinity test could ignite the atmosphere itself, burning the sky, ending all life in a flash of light. And still, they pushed the button. At 5.29 a.m. on July 16, 1945, the desert lit up like a new sun. J. Robert Oppenheimer whispered words from the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The bomb worked. The war ended. But something deeper began a quiet understanding that in mastering the atom, we had fractured something much larger, the balance between creation and destruction. The Manhattan Experiment didn't just build a bomb, it built an age, one where every sunrise could also be our last.